so let's talk about treatments and how we do them in SINs and all of our oil series and how we mix and match to different hair types and what we do in salons to mix for our clients. So I am just going to go through our, our oils and they each have a purpose, but basically they're all based on the same base and that's this one, the Pure number 97. So this consists mostly of cold pressed avocado oil, which we talked about previously and all the benefits this does. It's full of vitamins. It's really soothing on both hair and scalp. It also consists of apricot kernel oil and you'll see these two ingredients go through all the other oil. This one also contains almond oil and we all know that to be super, super nice on the skin. This one has uh, won a, I don't know what most say, a million baby and mama awards, but uh, yeah, it's a very award-winning product. You can use it on everyone. It's uh, allergy certified, so you can also use it on uh, people who has a tendency to be uh, really sensitive or people with allergies. You can use it on your baby, on your skin. Some use it as a makeup remover. Uh, but obviously you can also mix it to all of the sense products to give more hydration and to uh, make it more nourishing. It can also be used as an oil treatment just on its own and this counts for all of the oils. So if you want to give the hair a really good and nice thick treatment, add this to your scalp and hair on a dry base, obviously no water. Um, and you can sit with it. We let clients sit with it for 45 minutes or so. Um, or some clients even take it home and they have it on all night and then rinse it out in the morning. The most important is that when you want to rinse it out, you add some shampoo before your condition, before you wash it out. Uh, otherwise it can be a little bit tricky to get out, but put a shampoo on top uh emulsify it and then water and then you're fine and you're good to get it out this is something client really love in our salon and this is i think a signature thing for scents so that's this one yeah next up we have our healing scents and this is 98 you can see that it changes a little bit the color here from uh, from some of the other ones this can sometimes be a little bit darker a little bit more green or bluish and that's because it has this uh, blue flower and chamomile this also gives it a very distinct uh, scent which is super nice and very attractive to some people and some might find it a little bit different it has some really good nice healing powers this is hence the name healing scents it has benzo which is known for being healing on the skin it's really good for eczema and calming the skin down when it's rashy or red or psoriasis so and the same for the chamomile it's also like both on the on the mind when you smell it it can kind of like bring you to a calmer state but it's also really fresh and we all know chamomile has a healing effect on you um, so the, the scent is, is kind of like a little bit fresher, uh, but still on the calming and nice uh, side. Yeah, it's a really, really, it's a really good uh, oil to use. A lot of our clients also use it on the face, especially if they have a tendency to redness and like a little bit dry um, and flaky skin. This both counts for the face and for the scalp. So if you have someone with dandruff, on the you know you can't really define is it eczema is it just irritated is it psoriasis this little guy might help you out so that's this we have and this is my favorite <laughs> um i use this every day uh, this has some uh, anti-aging effects and maybe that's why i like to use it it contains uh, Myra, cedar wood, um, lavender, so it has this really nice spa kind of vibe and it, that's in the, the deep wood series so you would kind of recognize this scent from the shampoo and the conditioner which we know a lot of our clients favorize. It's really really nice so, so it has this wooden 
warm calming soothing scent to it and that's also how it works on the scalp so if you have someone with dryness flakiness a coarse hair that needs really to be taken care of curls this is your go-to either as a standalone treatment or a mix to one of our um, one of our treatments um not much to say about this it's just really really lovely you can use it also on your you can use it also on your hands and as a scrub some people like to uh, mix it with cane sugar and use it on a scrub both you can use it on your face and you can use it on hand and feet we sometimes let our clients sit during a color treatment or a hair treatment we let them sit with a foot bath and it's really nice to have some good smelling oil and it just feels really good if we squeeze a couple of pumps of oil in that foot bath also you should uh, remember that sense oil are free from silicone well all sense products are but especially the oils this is uh, very unusual for hair oils that they don't contain silicone these are just pure so one pump or one or two pumps is actually enough for a whole hair or for your face or whatever you want to use it for it doesn't have this diluting effect of silicone in it it's just pure so obviously if you use too much it can go greasy on the scalp but it because of the molecules are so small in the, the oils that are being used it actually penetrates the hair really well and and sits really nicely on the hair without greasing last runner up we have this sweet mint this has a really lovely and fresh scent so it's like gingery minty um, orangey it's really nice and fresh i tend to use this a lot in the summertime for people's foot baths this is just like really waking them up I, when i do a scrub with this i use uh, salt actually it's just really nice and refreshing uh, for the body and for hands and feet obviously um, for hair types I would use this on the hair that is finer or more the hair that would have a tendency to thin a little bit because as the menthol shampoo and conditioner this has an, an like stimulating effect and it just awakens the hair follicles so like use it give it a good head massage uh, use the oil like directly on the scalp give a really good massage it will be such a nice stimulating effect uh, on your client so really really try this out if you are going to try an oil treatment on its own and you're not sure which one to try really try this one out it's really really interesting and nice and stimulating yeah i, def I definitely go for this also if you have people with greasiness or you have someone like teenagers they can have this like greasy dandruff this can really freshen that up and get rid of it often it's mistaken that oh if you have a greasy scalp you shouldn't use any oils and you should go above that but actually that's not true you need to give back some balance on the scalp and by adding an oil that is refreshing and takes away some of the uh, imbalances that can be on the skin you're actually preventing the hair from getting greasy again so yeah very good idea so i'm just going to go through here how we do treatment so i briefly went through that we do the oils on their own but what we tend to do a lot in our salons is take some of our number three and just add some oil in here and you will see because none of these products contain silicone or anything they are super easy to, easy to mix and it's just really lovely in that way you can give a protein treatment and still have like a super nice scent to it and you can really target problem areas and sometimes not all the time but sometimes we'd like to use um, our rinse in combination with 
have and I will just let you know a little bit about the rinse too. Because the rinse we would use for detox treatments, for colored hair, for hair with product built. Then we really want to cleanse it all out and take some of the calcium away. In Denmark we have a horrible uh, hard water so we need to take like build up of minerals away. And uh, yeah, rinse is based on apple cider vinegar and it has sunflower seed oil, it has aloe vera in it. It's just really nice and chamomile too. So it it just have this like really herby, nice, soothing scent. And how you use it is that it says on the back here, but basically you can take three uh, lids of product and add to a glass of water pour it over the hair after you, you've washed it, let it sit for a couple of minutes, rinse it out, use your treatment or maybe just a conditioner. But when we go these two together, this is what we call a detox treatment. And it's really nice. So you both get the detoxing effect and you get the nourishing effect with the protein based treatment who's also targeting your problem area. Just remember every time you use a number three, because it's a protein treatment, you finish up with conditioner. And there you can obviously go with a conditioner that fits uh, the oil that you've used. So that's how we go about it in a sense. Maybe I should also tell you that we use sometimes the, um, the rinse on its own we use it every time we do a color treatment we use it um, to to lock the color in place we sell it to our clients and for them to take home to keep their colors sit in place for blonde girls who get this kind of like yellowy hue you can take that away for people that have gone on vacation and they come home and their blonde highlights has gone a greenish hue then just let it sit for a little bit longer and you can take that hue away. So a really, really nice product for chemically treated hair and for colored hair and for everyone who sometimes want to do a detox in some kind of way. And I'd say for everyone who lives in Denmark, they should definitely do it because our water is so hard. Uh, and for everyone else who is using products and everything close to their scalp, this is really a go-to product. For those who are uh, using the curly go method, definitely also use this. Some of them don't want to use any shampoo at all, and then they can use this to take away, you know, certain smells and and product build and just cleansing up their hair and scalp. This would be very much a go-to product. So I hope this uh, clarified a little bit what our oils are. Uh, used for and how we use them as a treatment in the salon. Thank you.